how much electricity is required in coulombs for the oxidation of 1 mole of H2O2O2 and 1 mole of FeO2 Fe2O3. Let us calculate how much of electricity. Okay. Now, if H2O is getting oxidized to O2, I am solving part 1. If H2O is getting oxidized to O2, can I have the equation? Okay. So, this is required. So, for 2 moles, now I need H2O 1 mole. So, if I just change the balancing, I have H2O giving me half O2 plus 2H plus plus 2 electrons. So, what is the value of n? The value of n is 2. Why? Because I am interested in H2O and with 1 mole of H2O, the value of yeah, number, the coefficient of electrons is 2. So, the value of n is 2 in this case. How much of electricity is required? I mean, that is not very difficult to see. If I take 1 mole of H2O, I get 2 moles of electrons. That means, 2 Faradays of electricity is required. In coulombs, well I can do this in coulombs also, 2 into 96500 approximately or accurately 2 into 96487 coulombs. So, whichever suits you, you can take that. I will go for the accurate answer. So, so many coulombs would be required for case 1. Simple? Simple. What about the second one? Let us take a look at the second question. Here yeah, second part of the question. 1 mole of FeO to Fe2O3. Now, if FeO my dear gets oxidized to Fe2O3, say half a mole or whatever. Now, do you see that there is a change? How much change? This plus oxide if you take. Now, so, and that oxide also should be 0.5 oxide ions. What are you doing? Some stupid kind of a balancing. If you do not like 0.5, I could do it as 2 times FeO. I will change the coefficients to make it look more friendly. FeO is getting oxidized to Fe2O3. It could be like this. This is more helpful? Yes. How did you write this equation? I wrote FeO, I wrote Fe2O3. Now, the only element was, this was half equation, iron goes from plus 2 to plus 3, it is undergoing oxidation, oxygens are not changing. So, I had 3 ox oxide ions here, I had 2 oxide, so I just added one more oxide to first complete the material balance. And then lastly, I added electrons to complete the charge balance. This is what I did. Okay, fine. What is the value of N? Now, I have 1 mole of FeO. If I am considering FeO, if I take 1 mole of FeO, I take 1 mole of electrons. So, 1 mole of electrons, that means 1 Faraday charge. That means 96487 coulombs of charge is required. That is the answer, my dear, for the second part. Simple, beautiful.